Hey guys, uh, I want to talk about my top five smallmouth fishing baits. Um, uh, this is my opinion. You might have a different. Uh, this is what I use. This is what I always catch fish on. If I'm going to go out and fish, is that no. If I tie one of these baits on, I'm going to catch fish. Um, kind of these baits for me are kind of all of like a one two punch. Um, so here's what I kind of have. Um, I like to fish a lot of moving baits. So right off the bat, I'm gonna pick something up like a jerk bait. Uh, for example, like we have a Lucky Craft pointers. I'm gonna pick something up like these, uh, dirty water, real, real clear water. I might, or something like a uh, a polished shadow wraps. I really, really love these baits. Um, I'm very fond of these baits. They're cheaper than the Lucky Crafts, and I think they work just as nice. But I just got the Lucky Crafts like right before um, the ice froze over the lakes and stuff and the rivers and stuff. So I only got to go out like once with them. So I don't really know how they work. Um, but again, next bait will be a jig. And this is any jig you want, okay? Me, I have different preferences. I do not like throwing finesse jigs. Um, bladed swim jigs like chatter baits and stuff like that. They're okay. Uh, I'll throw those in only specific um, ways. If I have a lot of grass, which we really don't have a lot around here, I'll throw a bladed swim jig or a chatterbait over it. Um, I really like to fish swim jigs and regular like casting jigs. Um, I don't do a lot of flipping because um, this is where again where I am. But whenever I do do a little flipping, I uh, use three quarter ounce uh, footballs, football jig heads, just because again. We don't have a lot of flip. It's not very thick, thick, thick stuff, so I don't need a very specialized flipping jig. Um, football heads can get through that stuff real nicely. But the jig I'm just going to show you guys here is a Pepper's Custom casting jig. Um, it's got that football style head with that flat side so it stands up real, real nicely in the water. Um, I got to use a Bile Spawn Bile Craw um, just because it's a lot of action. Well, and I use a jig. I don't really like to twitch it. I might, if that's what the fish want, but a lot of times I'll just lift it up, let it fall, lift it up, let it fall. So that's why I really like that vile craw because it's got a lot of kick in action. And it stands up really nicely in the water. Um, like it's the defending crayfish. So that's probably my number two bait. Uh, first would be a jerk bait, then it'd be here. My number three bait would uh, probably be a Texas rig or. No, scratch that. It would have to be a swim swim bait. Um, now any variation of swim bait. I'm talking hard swim baits, soft swim baits, Alabama rig, stuff like that. Um, anything from uh, Roman made negotiators to sick fish, um, little creeper trash fish, something like that. Uh, smallmouth is very 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 aggressive fish, and you can fish a swim bait in any zone, any time of the year. Um, so that's why I like them. Uh, right here I just got the sick fish to show you guys. I have a whole bunch of hard baits, but just for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna use these guys. Um, these are just little three inch baits. Um, I think the three inch and the four inch are perfect size baits for soft plastic when I'm going in my hard baits. When I fish a hard swim bait, I'm really looking for trophy fish. So I'm gonna fish five to eight inch baits. Um, I usually use about seven to six to seven inch baits. Uh, but again, swim baits, awesome baits. Um, I like to throw them on something like a Alabama rig. Uh, the little these sick fish go perfect with these. I'm gonna use little three out jig heads, little eight ounce jig heads. Um, and when I have this thing fully rigged, it's just under an ounce uh, with all my jig heads. I like to use four, like I said, four one eighths, and then one one quarter ounce with a four out. These will all have three out on the out on the outside, four out hook on the inside. Cause I'll throw a four inch bait on the inside. So it kind of looks like it's chasing, smaller fish is chasing a bunch of different fish. And I'll throw different colors. Like I'll throw, this is the ghost middle color. And I might throw like a bluegill color or um, something like that on the back. So it looks like a bigger fish is chasing these smaller fish. And that just kind of makes these smallmouth mad. Thinking this fish is going to take a meal for me. And they'll go and they'll slam it. I've had, uh, I've hooked two fish. I've hooked a fish before on two different hooks, it was the middle and the outside, he hit it so hard, he collapsed the Alabama rig like that, 
and uh, just absolutely destroyed the thing. Um, that was a nice smallmouth. It's probably about three and a half pounder. Um, now this year, three and a half pounder for me is like an average. Not an average. That was normal for me. Um, I'm getting up to my four and a half, five pounders. That was a little more uh, rare. But these baits that I'm telling you guys today, these are what I catch the big fish on. Um, and swim baits especially. Uh, so with the Alabama rig, that's just a deadly combo. I can fish any really any water column with a swim bait. Um, if I want to fish suspended fish, I'll throw this. If I'm gonna fish bottom, uh, I'm gonna throw something like a Huddleston. If I'm gonna fish top water, I'll throw um, something like a boot tail, line through boot tail that can really stay on the top of the water. So that's my go-to baits there. And then my fifth, fourth, sorry, would have to be a Texas rig. Now these are just pit bosses, um, real easy baits. Everybody knows what a pit boss looks like. Um, for you guys who don't, this is what a pit boss looks like. It's just real simple design. Not a lot of ribs to it at all. Ribbed on the bottom, ribbed a little bit on the top. Hook it through the top here, hook it to the bottom, comes out to the top. I like to drag these uh, light Carolina rigs. They don't have a lot of deep water. I think the deepest water around here is like 20 feet maybe. 20 to 25 feet. So I don't really need a one ounce jig head for a Carolina rig. Maybe a half ounce really works just fine. Um, real light Carolina rigging. Um, flipping, I'll use this a little bit. If we have any flipping, like uh, sparse vegetation, I'll flip this into there. Real nice. Um, that's where I differ from jigs. Jigs a lot when I'm flipping, I like to throw them in real light wood because we have a log this way, log here, log here, and there's a bunch of sticks and stuff. I'll flip a jig into there. There's jigs I'm not afraid I'm going to break my hook, and I believe they're just a little more weedless because if you don't Texas rig it right, you don't skin hook it right, it'll come out and you'll lose your tungsten, you'll lose your bait, and everything else. So, And then my fifth bait, um, the reason why this is number five is just because I'm a power fisherman. I love to power fish. And this is not a very power fishing friendly technique. Um, many of you guys probably already know what I'm about to say. Um, it'd have to be drop shotting. And any drop shot baits. Um, I like to use flukes a lot with my smallmouth. Ooh, man. These jackal clone fryer are probably my go to. But if, again, if they're going for that bigger, if I'm going for that bigger fish or they want that bigger presentation, I'm going to go to a fluke. If they want that smaller, real small bait fish, if I see a lot of bait fish up on the bank, I'm going to throw something like this at them. It's a real small presentation. Um, it'll match a lot of your hatch. Uh, something like this color. I believe this is green shad. It looks like any regular bait fish. It's got a nice uh, like a turquoise or purple down to like a bone color and you can see I'm barely even shaking it and it's got some nice action really nice in the drop shot um, I guess I go, I'll throw like a shaky head in here too um, shaky heads I really like to use like a cardinal lure um, their worms are really really nice for this they're a small small company around me my buddy actually runs it but I'm not saying that just because my buddy runs it I absolutely love their baits I use their baits a lot for my shaky head fishing, um, flipping, I'll use your baits too. But for my purposes, I like these five baits I showed you guys. These five techniques, um, they just work a lot better for me than most of any other bait. Um, if you guys want me to ever go in real detail with what I use, when I use it, well, hooks, a uh, line, rod, reel, gear ratio action anything just comment on this video i will tell you guys i'll make a video about it um check me out on uh, instagram bass and ny um i'm trying to get a couple partners with a couple of people that hopefully um are really going to put me over the top this year um my goal this year is to catch a smallmouth record out here in new york state which is eight pounds four ounces and uh, i believe not a lot of people around me here actually fish as hard as I do. I know of one other person and he lives about 30 miles away and he doesn't really fish the body as water I fish. So I'm really the only person I know that actually fishes hard and heavy and knows a lot about what I do and uh, so hopefully I'm gonna break that record. 
So hopefully guys, you follow me on Instagram, follow me on here, and follow me through this journey.